In this video, we will see how to configure routing protocols on the service side with your existing LAN. WebTeller supports PGP and OSPF on the service side to interact with your existing infrastructure. Attached is the topology we will use. We have two VH devices connected to the respective LAN on the service side. In this demo, we will use OSPF between the VHS and the existing infrastructure and I'll cover BGP in a subsequent video. I have already configured the devices for OSPF downstream of the VHS. So let's begin. Let's go to network. Let's go to VH1. Let's go to real time and check for OSPF neighbors. And we can see that there are no OSPF neighbors. Let's check on VH2 as well. And here also we don't have any OSPF neighbors. So let's go to templates. So I have a template which is assigned to VH1 and 2. So let's quickly check that. So this is assigned to H1 and H2. So let, we will go ahead and edit this template for configuring our OSPF. So let's go to service VPN and create our service VPN. So let's create a new template. Call this VH VPN 11 template. The VPN is 11. Don't need to do anything on DNS. By default, OSPF external routes are not advised to OMP, but we are not using external OSPF, so we don't have to do anything here. Let's go down. We don't have to change anything, so we'll just go ahead and hit save. So let's go back to service VPN and add a VPN interface to a VPN. So let's quickly create a template. Let's call this VH uh, VPN interface uh, GE0 slash 2 template. Let's uh, make it no shutdown. The interface name is GE0 slash 2, which is going towards my service side. Uh, let's make it device specific and let me just change the prompt to VPN 11 interface IP address. That's it. Don't need DHCP. We don't need tunneling. We don't need NAT. And that's it. Hit save. Let's go back to service VPN and configure our OSPF now. So let's create a new template again. And call this VH VPN 11 OSPF template. I'm not assigning a router ID. It will automatically pick the system ID as the router ID. Uh, so let's add a redistribute statement because we want to redistribute all the OMP routes into SPF. So we'll just redistribute OMP. We are not putting any routing policy for now. So just click add. So we'll come down. We don't need to define LSAs. Uh, my OSPF neighborship is going to be on area zero. Uh, it will be a standard area type. So let's go ahead and add an interface. Let's add an interface. Our interface name is GE0 slash 2. Don't need to change the intervals. Let's go to advanced and change our OSPF network type to point to point. So I'm not going to define any authentication. So just click add. Add. To 
we don't need to change any of these parameters so let's go ahead and hit save back to service within we have all the necessary things defined so let's update the template so let's pass on the necessary parameters so this ip address would be 172.14.1.1 on vh1 so update and for vh2 should be 15.1.1. Let's next. Click OK. So let's wait for the templates to get updated. The templates have been pushed. So let's go back to network. Go back to VH1 and check for our OSPF neighbors. And we can see that we have a full neighborship. Let's look at our IP routes. And there you can see that I learn 151.0 from OSPF and 152.0 through OMP is the LAN site on the VH2. So let's go to VH2. And here also I learn 151 from OMP and 152 from OSPF. So let's quickly check our OSPF neighbor as well. And there we have a full neighborship with the LAN site router. Let me just quickly ping from one LAN to the other LAN. So let me just ping from 191 dot one from source one fifty two dot one and there we go we have successful communication between the LAN communicating through OSPF to the VH router and then through OMP. Thus you can use routing protocols to interact with the existing infrastructure and advertise them to the Viptela SDN fabric. That's it for this demo. Thanks for watching.